Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Jess, and welcome to Goodwin's Farm 207. Today we're going to give you a little bit of an update on the puppies and where we're at with that whole process. Um, most of them have gone home to their other homes, their other farms, and... Yeah, bittersweet, but... Very bittersweet, so... But, yeah, a little bit of information to share, so we hope you stick around. So we're out here with some of the animals um, doing our nightly chores. It's a little more empty than normal, a little less chaotic. We um, have rehomed most of the puppies and it's very, very bittersweet. It's, it's been an amazing summer. It's been a minute since I've had a litter of puppies and it has been a phenomenal experience. Um, and I don't know. I don't know when we'll have another litter or if we'll have another litter because as you know we try to breed responsibly and only breed when there's a need um, and we needed a couple more dogs because there's big plans to expand our goat herd in the next couple years and I wanted dogs that were trained and ready to go. Yeah and we're grateful to have found homes for the dogs that we didn't keep. Um, you know it's it's a blessing that we were able to find such good people to put them with and on you know the financial side of things it's also a blessing for us um because dog food is expensive and <laughs> <laughs> you know i think at, at the height of it we were going between 12 to 15 pounds of dry food a day on top of raw food um that we were also feeding them um many of you know we try to do mostly raw food if we can but you also know Mike broke his foot this summer, so a lot of our plans for the summer didn't quite pan out, so we didn't have the raw food available that we normally would have had. Um, so, it, plus we do like to feed them some kibble, so when we are short on raw food that they can have, um, they will eat kibble. Um, but yeah, it was just... <laughs> it was kind of nuts. <laughs> it was kind of chaos, because you broke your foot, what, the weekend they were born? Yes. So yeah, I kind of made that really, really crazy, um, but it was definitely a great experience and I would love to do it again if the opportunity presents itself and um, we have that need, but if we don't, then 
we're we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we're certainly happy with what we have. <laughs> yes, um, we did end up keeping more puppies than we thought we were going to. Originally, I was just gonna keep one. I was Kimber was our pick of the litter, um, and we were just gonna keep her. And then turns out her sister Annie is just an absolutely love bug. I'll show you a clip on that shortly here, so I won't explain too much about that. But she just ended up. I always tell people Remy's my heart dog. Um, if you know what that means, you know what that means. And Annie is very, very much like her, her mother in that scenario, so. Yes, very much. Yeah. So this is Annie. She is our unexpected retaining dog. Um, we originally were going to rehome her, um, but she, you know how it is, sometimes animals just bond with you really quickly, so she's going to be staying here with us. Um, Kimber was our first pick of the litter, which is her sister, um, and we were going to keep her. And we were only going to keep one, I promise, but turns out we're, we're going to be keeping more than one. So we're going to be keeping Annie and Kimber. Um, the rest of them have all gone home. To their farms we are very very fortunate to find really wonderful working homes for every single one of them everybody has been updating me on their progress which makes it much easier it was definitely a little emotional um, when some of them left especially the first couple and but I'm very grateful for the homes that they went to and how much they've um, been updating me they're all doing fabulous they've all adjusted really well um and i've gotten some really really positive feedback for this litter which i wasn't totally surprised that we got really good feedback on this litter because they have just been amazing puppies right from the get-go um as far as their personality types and even just their interactions at even a young age with our our existing animals so i'm more than thrilled with this this litter and how they're turning out. This is Annie. She's a sweetheart. Um, as you as you were seeing before, she's just kind of just a, a love bug. She has a very uh, wants to please you personality, which is great. She's also a little a little more submissive, which um, I feel is going to be a nice pairing with her sister, who's a little more aloof and kind of does her own thing and a little more independent. This is Kimber, um, Annie's sister, and she's a little more independent dog, definitely a lot more dominant personality type. So um, I think her and Annie will be a good pairing. If not, then um, I will pair one with uh, Wilson and one with Remy too, because we do like to work our dogs in pairs. So ultimately that's the goal, but right now they're still with their mom, learning from her, and then uh, we'll start pairing them with Wilson as well because he's kind of our poultry dog and he does a really good job with that. Um, so we'll see which one of them has the best personality and who they work with best and that's how we'll, we'll partner them up.
Nope. Nope. Well, thanks for watching. I know this is kind of a short video, but you know, things are busy around here and we'd like to just take a moment to update you on where things are at. Uh, we do hope to have another video out soon. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. If you don't mind, it helps us out a lot. Yeah, um, we're going to be actually doing some more videos on the training of the puppies that we are keeping. So please definitely subscribe and share our channel as much as you can. As you know, we really try to be informational and educational on some of these things. Uh, livestock guardian dogs are a passion of mine. And um, so please stay tuned. We will be putting out some videos on how we're training our dogs. And again, I understand there's different methods out there and maybe the way we do it isn't necessarily what works for you or others, but um, it's what works for us and that's kind of what we've been showing you this whole time on this channel is you know what we found to work and we hope you find it helpful either way yeah and if you have questions comments you feel free to leave them below uh just keep it respectful this is a family channel yes and if there's anything you'd like to see specifically in any upcoming video please drop a comment or send us an email and we'll do our best thanks for watching we'll see you next time